Hello, my name is Danny. Welcome to Drive Green. Today we'll be having a look around this 40 kilowatt Nissan Leaf Tecna. Now the Tecna variant is the higher of the spec on the inside, so lots of bells and whistles to play with, as well as you've got those beautiful alloys on the outside. This one in particular is a 2019 plate. It has done 90,549 miles on the clock. So a high mileage EV, but still in great, great condition. My spot, top manager actually went, for a 90,000 mile car, it is looking fantastic. So we're going to get up and close and personal with this one to see if there's anything noteworthy to mention. Please do feel free to pause the video at any stage if you feel like I'm going a little bit too quick for you. Next MOT and service date is looking at February 2023, so nothing to worry about for quite a little while. And down the driver's side door, nothing to noteworthy mention as we come down through here. Comfort access button for your entry. So as long as the key's in your pocket or in your bag or anything like that, you can get in. Little tiny little cosmetic dink that you can just see on the inside just there. Quite barely noticeable though, unless you're really, really looking for it. Going down to the rear passenger side door. A little bit of a cosmetic little scrape that you can just see through in there. But once again, not really that noticeable unless you're really looking for it. Going down, last final bits and bobs on this side. Driver's side rear alloy looking in great condition, coming around to the rear of the vehicle. Now for any second hand vehicle there'll be a few signs of life and stuff. So on the rear of the vehicle you've got a few little tiny cosmetic dinks and stuff in there. Which are all to be expected for a vehicle of this high mileage. But once again, for the the amount of miles that this vehicle has done, actual cosmetic nature to it. Hopefully you can see from wherever you're viewing this video at home or out and about, it's actually looking in remarkably good condition. Down to the passenger side, rear alloy looking perfect. Nothing noteworthy to mention, coming round on the passenger side. Immaculate looking rear passenger door. Comfort access button once again on this side as well. Nothing noteworthy to mention on here, so we'll steamroll the way through. Got the tiny little scuff that's just in there, very, very minor though. Coming on down through to the last and final alloy on this side, where this one has had a little meeting with the kerb. Very, very slight though. That you can just see down through around there. All right. By the way, any of these little cosmetic natures, we try to recuperate as much as possible. However, if we're unable to do so, we will be factoring them into the price of the vehicle. Going around to the front of the vehicle, much needed facelift from the 30 kilowatt model. The 40 kilowatt model will give you a real world range of roughly 145 miles. So a fantastic mid-range EV, lots of practicality in the boot. This one in particular is looking great on the front. Nothing there worth to mention on here. Charging flat that's just there, that you'll have your Type 2 as well as your Chalamo for your fast and your rapid charge. It's all currently open at the moment. We have these beautiful leather seats to start with, the Techno variant. Going along and down and through. You have heated seats in the front, heated seats in the back. Electric handbrake, drive neutral reverse stick. You have your E pedal and your Eco button that's just there. Couple of buttons there for your heated seats in the front, as well as a USB aux input, 12 volt, climate control point in there, and then it's actually switched off at the moment. But there's your infotainment system, which is all touchscreen as well. Giving you Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, nice solid driving position in the Nissan Leaf, heated steering wheel as well for the. It's just creating a really nice cabin space with a nice spacious aspect to it. And you have your Bose sound system, which makes you definitely bob your head along on those long distance journeys, which this is definitely capable of doing. Now I have that front seat adjusted to my height, and I'm about six foot one, so you can see that I can still easily fit into the back seat with no problem whatsoever. Once again, beautiful interior, nice comfortable seating, and not a nick or a scratch, which is looking fantastic. Lots of practicality then for any long distance trips away without any complaints from the passengers in the back. Opening up the boot then, a 
nice big sizable boot space. You can easily fit in a couple of large suitcases. There you have your subwoofer for your Bose sound system. Plenty of space to fit a couple of Labradors in the back as well, for the second couple of woofers. Storage container to the side. That's where you'll have your puncture repair kit stored in there. We actually will give you in the back of the boot. You'll have your 13 amp three pin socket lead for your home charging. So your home charging cable is five meters long, plug straight into your car and then straight into a wall socket for your charging. It's the slowest way of charging. However, we do provide with an optional extra, the public charging lead, which comes in handy if you have a home box as well. Plug straight into your vehicle and then straight into your installed box at home or out and about getting some free charge if you have a place of work or a local supermarket or something like that. And that optional extra cable, we charge car customers 100 pounds with the purchase of any of our EVs. They usually retail about 180, 190, and you're worth worth your while if you're planning on getting a home box installed, or you usually regularly use a supermarket with that kind of aspect to it. Please do feel free to get in touch with this particular vehicle. I doubt it'll be on our fork for very long, as it's such a great value EV, offering a nice mid-range, and it's also in fantastic condition. This one in particular is on available at the moment. Do feel free to get in touch on number 01761 233558. Please do feel free to head over to our YouTube page where Richard, our founder and owner, has done lots of detailed reviews on all the EVs on our forecourt, giving you a really detailed look into why all the one, why it might be the right vehicle for you at home. I'm going to stop baffling and waffling now. And I hope that this video has been important for your buying selection. My name's been Danny and I hope to hear from you very soon. All the best and goodbye.